Amras Kitchen, Matthew, has bought land in Jamaica. He has a channel that he built off of the back of a Rastaman from out in St. Thomas named Moko. A few months ago, Matthew cut him off. They had some kind of disagreement and he was cut off. Matthew gets to continue on with these images of Moko and his channel and make money from them. The channel is approaching 1 million subscribers now on YouTube while Moko is left out in the cold. I have a problem with that. I don't know why it is that we continue to allow these people to come into our country and exploit us because they're white. Just because they're white, they're, they can come around us. We think that they have good intentions. They come with their foreign accents. So they're allowed to come in our spaces and exploit us. I don't know if there are some good attorneys out there, some good lawyers who care about our people and care especially about Rastafari and care about their rights because I'm sure that Moko has some right here. I'm sure that he didn't sign away his right to his images on YouTube. I'm sure there was no agreement. We know how it is with our people, especially in the rural areas. A lot of them don't really know much about paperwork. They don't know about agreements. They don't know about laws or anything like that. So they're not able to defend themselves in situations like this. And I knew it. Years ago, when I saw this channel come up, I questioned him. What are your intentions? Are you taking care of this man? And he called me bad mind. His response in the next video was to say that I was bad mind for questioning his intentions of using the image of our people. He built his channel on the image of Moko. The channel is called Ras Kitchen. He's not Rastafari. He's not black at all. He's not even from Jamaica. And don't get me started on backpacking Simon and freelance shopping. I'm going to talk about that next. We have to stop giving these people space to come in and use us and exploit us. It's 2024. We can't just keep opening up arms to these people. And we've known that historically, these people have always exploited us, right? So it is okay for us to have some boundaries. He is now buying land in our country off of using our people and has kicked Moko out into the cold. We have to do something about it.